Hey, I'm John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of The Descent brought to you by Walrus Audio. The Descent is unlike any reverb pedal I've ever heard. And the magic is kind of in this section right here. It gives you an octave up, an octave below, and then a dry mix. It's, it then feeds these two octaves into three different reverb options. Hall, which is pretty normal, uh, reverse, which is just a cool little bit of ear candy, and then a shimmer. That's all in this section right here. And right here you control with this switch right here, you go between hall, reverse, and shimmer. Now in this section, you have dry mix, so you can dial in, that's a thing. Um, reverb can really get away from you, but this gives you the option of really controlling how much dry and how much of the wet mix you have. There's also reverb time, diminish and tweak, which gives you other kind of sonic options. So that's kind of the whole deal. There's also three savable presets right over here. So you can dial in what you want and then color code it. There's blue, green, and red. So find the one you want and save them, which is a convenient little trick. Right now, we won't deal with the presets. We're just gonna go, we're just gonna spin some knobs and, and twist through all of them. The pedal has 9 volt DC, uh, mono input and stereo outputs, and an expression pedal as well. Gives you further options for, for jacking with your tone in real time. And giving you lots of options between spreading a big stereo send or mono. Right now we're just going mono and we're not uh, using the, the expression pedal either. Now let me tell you about everything else in the signal chain. I'm playing my uh, Gibson Les Paul standard. Um, that is basically stock, although the guys at Gibson uh, Restoration and Repair refinished it in this very subtle uh, sparkle and um, put the bigs beyond. Other than that, it's, it's, it's stock. Um, I'm running into the pedal with uh, Astro cable. The pedal's being powered by a Voodoo Labs pedal power. Running out of this into a machete amp in the clean, and then we'll probably try the dirty channel as well. And uh, it's just completely flat. The machete's flat. We're micing with a Royer R121 mic, and that's going into an Apsi Quartet and Pro Tools. So, Les Paul, cable, pedal, fender amp, out. That's it. Okay, let me, uh, let me just bring you through some of these cool sounds. When we came in, I had it on the hall setting for that real dreamy bit. And I had the, uh, the dry down here go through the octaves way up and the lower octave way up. And I started with the high octave way down and then kind of tweaked it up. And everything else was, uh, give, was a pretty wet signal. This is what it sounds like, just dry. There is on the neck pickup for the most part. And here's what it sounded like with it on. Now you can hear the high and low octave. Let me try taking those out so you can just hear it more like a normal reverb. So this is just the low octave. And that really fattens things up. Here is just the high octave. Now let's try taking let's try taking that out and just use it like more normal just a more normal verb and it can be a nice subtle kind of verb you know if we uh, So you can see, it, just a subtle, normal reverb. But, like you heard when I came in, man, you add this stuff and you get all kinds of crazy magic going on. Mm -hmm. 
Now my personal taste, I prefer the low octave to the high one. Um, maybe just a little bit of the high, but it, it uh, sounds more guitarish like that. Anyway, that's the basics of the hall. Um, and uh, you know what? Why don't I play a little bit of dirt on it too, so you can see what that does. So. <laughs> Now, uh, a word of warning, because we're not using an effects loop and just going straight in. As you change, uh, change over your dirty channel, effects plugged dr direct in are going to sound a lot more intense. So I'll roll it back a bit and... So that's the basics of the hall. Now let's try this crazy reverse. Now I'm gonna put on the dirt channel and dial this back a little bit. Uh, the cool thing about the reverse, there's kind of like a little, um, it's almost has a built-in delay to it. So like, that's our tone right there. And that's, So you can hear how it answers back those crazy backwards things. And then when we do it clean, then we can like... Now if we take away our, take away our dry signal, That's some crazy stuff, people. The, the weird thing about it is when you're working with reverse like that is, you know, timing, you can't, you know, you hit your downbeat and it's gonna. It's more immediate as you turn that up. Anyway, trippy and cool. Okay, so here's a little crazy thing I discovered when I was playing with this thing for hours last night. Um, if you turn everything way on the front reverse and you turn the time really quick and kind of bring back the intensity and just have that lower octave, it's like a cool slap back. Come on, man. How crazy is that? Very crazy. Anyway, it's a great tone. 
So it's like an added little, um, added little bonus gift. You get this crazy slap back thing. So if you take out the octave, it's more slappy and less weird. <laughs> that in it's really crazy <laughs> with the up one it's kind of cool, cool too <laughs> anyway that's more for the psycho billy kind of sound but very cool okay let's go to the final setting the shimmer now if you're like me when you look at a pedal that's got all these options the outputs and the knobs and the switches and a big manual telling you everything it can do. Man, I'm like Homer Simpson. My eyes just kind of glaze over and I, I can't process it. I start thinking about donuts and crap like that. But, so the only way to do it is like, put in the hours. Pour yourself a drink and start spinning knobs. Uh, one thing I discovered last night while doing that in the shimmer section, if I turn down my dry all the way so it's all wet and then turn everything else all the way up, except for the high octave, I'll do that later. It sounds like a pipe organ, it's just crazy. So that's it. That is The Descent by Walrus Audio. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll keep you up to date on all the cool new gear that's out there. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.